हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन टुडेज वीडियो दैट इज फॉर्मूलाज एंड फंक्शंस इन एम एस एक्सएल पार्ट थ्री वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट सम बेसिकली यूज फॉर्मूलाज इन एक्सएल लाइक सम मैग्स मिन एवरेज इफ देन डेट एंड टाइम फंक्शंस ऑटो सम बटन फ्यू ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज फंक्शंस इन एक्सएल कैन बी एक्सेस्ड फ्रॉम द ऑटो सम बटन it is present on the home tab and auto sum can also be accessed from the formulas tab so this is the sigma sign here we click on sigma a drop down list will appear showing some commonly used functions in excel so whichever function you desire to use you click on it and that gets inserted in your cell you select the respective cell range as argument and hit the enter key to obtain the answer the functions which can be seen here are sum average count numbers max min and more functions option by clicking on more functions option we can access more inbuilt functions in excel now let's see the use of few of these functions so earlier we have seen the use of the sum function when we were discussing about different types of referencing and renaming the range use of cell range etc now let's see the use of average function as we all know average is the sum of the total values divided by number of values so let's first perform or find the average of the given table details by using the average function so we can either directly use the average function from the auto sum button by clicking on the auto sum option and then selecting the average option and selecting the range which we require or we can uh, click on the cell directly and type our function that is equal to average or by going in the formula bar also we can type the function now we select the range and it automatically gets updated in the function parenthesis and as we hit the enter key from the keyboard the answer will be obtained so it is simple to use the average function here we can also click on the tick button near the formula bar which is accept button there the answer will be obtained another way of inserting average function is by clicking on fx option on the home tab then the function dialog box appears here on the left side you have function category and on right side you have function names so here we will click on the statistical option in order to see all the statistical functions on the right side here it said the second option is average we, uh, we have many more options here the count max min all these options are available here we click on average and then click on okay so it asks uh, uh, us to uh, define the range here so in number 1 number 2 these boxes we can click and define the cells which we want to find the average of or we can also select the cell range here then we click on okay button and for the selected ranges the average of the numbers will be given in the cell where we have typed our average function in the same manner we can use the max function by directly typing equal to max then bracket open then we will select the range for which we want to find the maximum or the highest value and then we close the bracket and hit the enter key so here in the above information we see that 2.5 is the maximum value so the answer obtained will be 2.5 the minimum function is used to find the minimum value so equal to min bracket open select the range and close the bracket hit the enter key or click on the accept button the answer will be 1.5 that is the minimum value in the above case the count function is used to return the numeric values by counting them it counts only the numeric values entered in the cells the text values is excluded here so when we select the range equal to count inside bracket range so we see that in six cells there are numeric values so the answer obtained will be 6 if in between you have any text value then it will skip that cell and count it as five or four according to the uh, cells in which we have the numeric value we can also insert the max min and count function by clicking on the fx option as we did in the case of average and selecting the cell and then defining the range and clicking on okay button let's now understand the use of if function in excel 
if a function is a very important function it is used in logical situations like if we have two options to select from like in the case here one table is taken in which we have columns like name class and marks of the student in various subjects like physics chemistry math english hindi etc and we want to find whether the child is pass or fail in respective subjects so for uh, checking whether the child is pass or fail in any particular subject we have to check whether the marks of the child is above 33 above 35 or above 40 depending on the required situation so let's try the use of if function here say i want to check whether om is pass in hindi or not then in uh, cell h3 i will type a formula or function equal to if inside bracket i'll give a condition here g3 so the value g3 is the marks of om in hindi if g3 is greater than 40 if g3 is greater than or equal to 40 then i'll consider pass so it depends you can give greater than or equal to or just greater to according to your uh, requirements so i am writing here if g3 is greater than 40 so you can see here uh, when you are half done it gives you a hint box showing how you have to enter the complete function here so you put a comma here then uh, as i want only two values that is pass and fail so text values have to be enclosed inside quotations so if uh, uses a general form like if in bracket we write the condition first then comma then the true part then comma then the false part so here i am writing the true part as pass so pass is written inside double quotation then i'll write a comma then i'll write the false part that is fail so again inside double quotations i will type fail here so uh, the if function will be something like this equal to if inside bracket condition then comma then true part then comma then false part then the bracket close so when i hit the enter key here answer obtained will be fail because 33 is less than 40 so we can auto fill this formula in other cells and check see in the remaining cases the marks are above 40 so it is showing pass now if i change any of the values and make them less than 40 in uh, g8 i am making it as 35 then automatically it is updated to fail so if the condition is satisfied then pass otherwise fail so this is how we evaluate an if function in excel let's now discuss few date and time functions the first one is day function so day function returns the day of the month a number starting from 1 to 31 so 31 days are considered in a month so whichever day say 15th day of the month is there then the day function will return the answer as 15 the month function the month function is used to return the current month equal to month bracket open close hit the enter key so the current month name will be displayed using this function the now function equal to now bracket open close it will return the current date and time that is the time and date right now the today function the today function returns the correct date formatted as a date so a proper date that is a month day and year format proper formatted date of the day will be displayed here the time function in excel equal to time bracket open close will display the current time in proper hours minute and second format which is predefined in excel all these date and time functions work depending upon the calendars and the time settings done in your computer system now let's see few extra facts about the chapter to enter or modify a formula in a cell we can also press f2 function key after selecting the cell so any changes that you make in data will be reflected in the formula results so whenever we are making any changes in the cell automatically it will be updated in the formula so this can be done using the f2 function key so second fact here to copy the formula from the above cell press control plus 
apostrophe single apostrophe here so control plus apostrophe will copy the above formula in the below cell fact number 3 if you want to calculate the sum of multiple cells that are not in range then separate each cell address by a comma microsoft excel follows the bad mass rule to evaluate the mathematical expression excel uses this method automatically when a formula contains more than one operator excel follows the bad mass rule here that is bracket then exponent division multiplication addition and subtraction so this is the order of evaluation now few shortcuts used in the chapter control plus z for undo control plus y for redo control plus x for cut control plus c for copy control plus v for paste control plus f9 for minimize control plus f10 for maximize and control plus a to select the entire worksheet